So our attitude to commitments really tells us about our heartfelt intention. Because if, for example, we are offered a job, a job we really want, and when we're being interviewed, we're asked, are you happy to work some evenings? Are you happy to work at weekends? Are you happy to do this, that, this, that? You say yes, because you want the job. So, our, our mind towards our commitments tells us about our sincerity of our promise. So, for example, we promise to accomplish a Buddha's enlightenment. That's our bodhisattva promise, our bodhisattva vow. It means I will engage in the practice of the six perfections. The perfection of giving, moral discipline, patience, effort, concentration or meditation, and wisdom. So, through our Guru's kindness, we know these six perfections very well. One of the most important is giving love. Giving love. We can be doing that every moment, eventually, because nothing stops us giving love except mindfulness and stopping our self-cherishing of all the givings because we can give material things, we can give protection, fearlessness. The most important is giving love. And as Venerable Geshe-la teaches us in the handbook for the daily practice of the Bodhisattva vow and Tantric vow, that through the practice of giving love, cherishing all living beings without exception, we can't, we can't incur any downfalls of our bodhisattva or tantric vows because all downfalls necessarily come from self-cherishing. So I think this is a wonderful understanding. You think, wow, we get everything just for one mind. We just think only of others and naturally we'll practice the other perfections. Naturally, we'll keep our bodhisattva and tantric vows more and more purely. So as I mentioned yesterday briefly, it is through this special intention, our bodhisattva promise, our bodhisattva vow, that we transform mundane daily activity, busy modern daily life into the Bodhisattva's way of life. We turn everything into the practices of the perfection of giving, the perfection of moral discipline, the perfection of patience. That's definitely a practice like love that can pervade our life. Venerable Geshe-la teaches us every opportunity to get angry is equally an opportunity to practice patience. So you think how many opportunities I have during the day to combine my busy modern daily life with these precious six perfections. Wonderful. So we learn how to do this. We take our busy human life and the six perfections and we have the union of daily life and the six perfections. We make them one. Then our normal busy daily life becomes truly extraordinary. It becomes the Bodhisattva's way of life at work, at home, 
with our family doing all the activities that would have been mundane but become spiritual paths through the kindness of our Bodhisattva vow. <laughs> <laughs>